We're going to bring, begin your car's morning routine, controlled articular rotations. Turn your palms forward, make tight fists. Remember to engage and irradiate tension throughout your whole body as we do each of the joints. Squeeze tight fists, bend your knees, push the floor away from you so you feel your outer hips turn on. So nice and tall with your chest, reaching through the crown of the head. Slowly drop your chin down towards your chest as far as you can. Rotating your chin as far as you can to the right and then smoothly dropping that ear towards the shoulder as you extend the neck back and around all the way until that left ear reaches the left shoulder. Rotating the chin down and back to neutral. Reverse, chin to the left, ear towards the shoulder. Extending the neck back and around, ear towards the shoulder. Chin down, back to neutral. Number two, rotate the chin. Extend the ear towards the shoulder back and around, all the way, laterally flexing ear to shoulder, chin down, back to neutral, reverse, chin to the side, extend back and around without leaning to the side, ear to the shoulder, chin down, back to neutral, last rep, rotate to the right, ear to the shoulder, extending back and around, ear to the shoulder, chin down, back to neutral, and reverse, chin to the left, Extending the ear back and around all the way, ear to the shoulder, chin down and neutral. Lifting your chin up, slowly cross your arms over your chest, make tight fists, same irradiation through the body. Exhale, hold those ribs down, flexing through the upper spine as far as you can without pushing those hips back behind you. Rotate as far as you can to the side without moving those hips, laterally flex extending through the upper spine all the way to the other side flexing forward and back to neutral keep the lower body engaged rotate to the left extending and laterally flexing rotating all the way to the other side flex forward back to neutral number two rotate laterally flex extending back and around all the way to the left flex forward back to neutral reverse to the left extend all the way to the other side flex forward back to neutral number three rotate laterally flex extend rotate flex forward and back to neutral reverse laterally flex extend back and around rotate flex forward back to neutral lift your spine up We'll come into scapular rotations. Arms will come forward in front of you. Bring them slightly wider than shoulder distance apart. Tight arms, pack the ribs down. Draw your shoulders as high as you can up towards your ears and then push a little bit further. Plug the shoulders back towards each other. Shoulder blades down towards your hips and then punch those hands forward. Draw the shoulders all the way up towards your ears. Rotate the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Drop down and reach forward. Number three, lift up, smoothest, biggest circle, rotate back, down, and punch forward. Reverse, plug it back, lift up, punch forward, drop it down. Plug back, lift up through the shoulders, reach forward, draw down, last one, plug it back, lift up, punch forward, and draw it down. Cross your hand over your rib cage to hold those ribs in place and to watch that there's no rotation through the spine. Hand extended down by your side, slowly drawing that arm, moving through thick air all the way up into shoulder flexion. Go as far as you can and see if you can push a little bit further. Rotate that bicep forward as you rotate deep in the shoulder joint. Rotating all the way around, keeping that chest lifted, thumb up towards the ceiling, back of the hand to the hip. Reach the thumb back up towards the ceiling. Rotating deep in that shoulder joint, all the way up towards the ceiling, bicep near your ear, and then back down to parallel. Bring that arm all the way up into shoulder flexion. Rotate from the bicep deep through the joint, all the way, thumb up towards the ceiling, back of the hand to the hip. Reach up, rotate out and around deep in the shoulder joint, bring it all the way up, back down to neutral. Last one all the way, shoulder flexion, rotate that bicep forward and around, thumb up towards the ceiling, back of the hand to the hip, reach the thumb back up, rotate out and around, reaching up into shoulder flexion, and all the way back down. Switching sides, opposite hand over the ribs, 
pulling the ribs down, engaging through the belly, bringing that arm all the way up, shoulder flexion, bicep near the ear, and out rotating the chest or torso, rotate deep in that shoulder joint until that thumb reaches up towards the ceiling, back of the hand to the hip, reach the thumb up, rotate deep in the joint, all the way up and around, and back down to parallel. Bring that thumb all the way back up, bicep near your ear, rotate deep in the joint, all the way back and around, and back of the hand to the hip. Reverse, thumb up, reaching out and around, keeping the opposite shoulder back, and all the way back down to parallel. Last one, reaching up, rotating out and around, deep in the joint, and back of the hand to the hip, and reverse, thumb up, rotate out and around, all the way back up, and back down. Hands down by your side, glue your elbows to your ribs, supinate the hands forward so those pinky fingers rotate forward, and then squeeze. Thick air, moving the air all the way up, squeezing deep at the elbow joint, pulling in as far as you can, pronate the hands, turn the pinky fingers towards your cheeks, and then exhale, press that thick air all the way back down, supinating the hands once you get to the bottom, gluing the elbows to the ribs, pull all the way back in and up, pronate, pinky fingers towards your cheeks, press that thick air all the way back down. Last one in this direction, rotate out, squeeze in, keep radiating tension, pulling in and up, rotate the palms forward and press down. Keep the back of the hands as they are, pulling the back of the hands up towards your shoulders, deepening at that elbow joint, supinating, turning those pinky fingers in, and then exhale, pressing thick air all the way back down. Pronate the hands, pull that thick air all the way back up, squeeze, turning those palms forward, exhale, extend, last one, pronating in, pull the back of the hands in, squeezing out any range of motion that you have, turning the back of the hands forward and slowly extend back down. Bend at your elbows, move on to the wrists, keep those elbows glued to your ribs, we'll go tight fists. Bring those pinky fingers in towards each other, keeping the forearms neutral. Extend those hands back and around, reaching those knuckles up, flexing at the wrists. Rotate the pinky fingers in, extend down, rotate out, pulling the thumbs up. Last one, rotate in, extend back, rotate out, and flex. Opposite direction, reach the knuckles out, extend back, rotate in, and bring it up, wash the wrists, extend out, keep those forearms neutral, extend down, pull it in, and flex. Move on to the hips, grab a dowel or a stick, place it in the left hand, ground down into the floor, opposite hand out to the side, stand strong into that stabilizing foot, slowly draw that knee all the way up towards your chest into hip flexion, standing leg stays straight, squeeze out a little bit more range of motion, abduct out to the side as far as you can, Internally rotate, pressing back through the heel. Watch to avoid any lean, if at all possible, and bring it back to neutral. Extend back through the heel, reach out and around, drawing that knee all the way up into hip flexion, and slowly dropping it back down. Keeping the knee bent, draw it all the way back up, hip flexion, abduct out to the side, internally rotate, reach back through that heel, and slowly bring it back in. Extend through the hip without arching the back, Bring it out to the side, strong arms, strong trunk, all the way up into hip flexion, and back down. Last one, bring that knee all the way up into hip flexion, abduct, internally rotate, press through the heel, squeeze through the glute, bring it back in. Last one, reverse, out and up, bring it all the way up, squeeze out more range of motion in that hip, and all the way back down. Switch sides, drive down through the stick, Drive down through the standing leg, opposite arm out to the side. Slowly draw that knee all the way up into hip flexion, as high as you can. Abduct out to the side, internally rotate, press through the heel, reach back, and neutral. Reverse, press back through the heel, bring it out to the side, draw that knee all the way up, squeeze out your range, back down to neutral. Number two, bring it up. Abduct, internally rotate, reach back through the heel, and bring it back to neutral. Reverse, press, reach out and around, all the way back up, and back down. Last one, push out more range of motion, lift, out to the side, 
reaching back through that heel, standing strong into that standing leg, bring it back, reverse, out and up, all the way back up and back down. Come down onto the floor, have a seat, move into tibial rotation at the knee, take your hand, bring it underneath the leg, opposite hand will come on top of the knee and then grab wherever you can on the opposite arm. So flexing at the ankle, slowly rotate out to the side, keeping your upper thigh or upper leg stable, extending the leg, you don't have to straighten it all the way out, rotate in as far as you can, and then pushing through thick air, pull that leg all the way back down, rotate out as far as you can, extend up, pushing your range, rotate in and pull back down. Last one in this direction, rotate out, extend up, rotate in and pull down. Keep your foot turned in, extend through the knee, rotate out, pull it back down. Rotate in, extend up, rotate out, pull it back down. Last one, turn in, extend at the knee, rotate out and pull back in. Move to the ankle, hand can come in front of your shin, opposite hand on the bicep or forearm, flex at the ankle, we'll go clockwise, rotate that foot out and around, point the toes, pull out, and then foot comes all the way back up into dorsiflexion, rotate out, point down, turn in, and flex, rotate out, plantar flex, rotate in, back up, last one, out, down, around and back up, reverse counterclockwise, reach in, plantar flex, pull those toes out, smoothest, biggest circle you can make. Number two, reach in, down, out, and around, last one, reach in, point down, reach out, and flex. Move on to the opposite side, take your hand, place it underneath the leg, opposite hand on top of the thigh, hand can hold the forearm, Flex at the foot, rotate that foot in, extend up, rotate out, and pull back down. Rotate in, extend up, rotate out, and pull down. Last one, rotate in, extend up, turn out, pull back down, stay turned out, extend, rotate in, pull down, rotate out, extend the knee, rotate in, Pull down, last one, rotate out, extend, rotate in, and pull down. Move on to the ankle, take it, the hand in front of the shin, hold the bicep or forearm, dorsiflex, so pulling the toes towards you. We'll go counterclockwise, rotate out, point down, rotate in, pull it up, rotate out, point those toes down into plantar flexion, rotate in, dorsiflex, toes towards you, last one, rotate out, down, around and up, rotate in, clockwise, point the toe down, rotate out, pull it back up, number two, rotate in, point down, out and back up, last one, number three, rotate in, reach out, pull back up. We'll go ahead and move onto the toes, come up to standing, hands behind your back, keep the base of the big toe, base of the pinky toe and back of the heels grounded throughout, Keep the outer four toes down, lift just the big toes up without rolling your feet out to the side, and then place the toe back down. Lift just the big toes up, engage the intrinsic muscles of the feet, and place it back down. Number three, lift up high as you can, push that end range, and back down. Last one, big toe, lift it up, and back down. Keep the big toe pressing, lift just the outer four toes up high as you can, and back down. Outer four toes lift and back down. Four toes lift, back down. Last one, outer four toes lift and back down. Lift all 10 toes up, keep the outer four toes up, tap just the big toe down, lift back up, just the big toe, lift, big toe, lift. Last one, big toe and lift. Keep the big toe lifted, tap just the outer four toes down, and lift, tap the outer four toes, lift, outer four toes, lift, last one, outer four toes, and lift. Spread the toes wide, as wide as you can, tapping down with the pinky toe first, P 
piano all the way back down one at a time until the big toe touches. Lift all 10 toes, spread wide. Pinky toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, big toe. Two more, lift all the way up, spread as wide as you can. Pinky toe, pianoing one at a time all the way back down. And last one, lift, spread wide. Pinky toe, rotate all the way back down.